toilet last night. Yes! I did. I, yeah, that's my, my Bruce Lee bada bing. Listen, I felt like a man last night. I did. Because you know what? Most of the time when stuff like that happens, I'm like, oh, help me, oh God. Like, but last night I was like, you know what? Just lifted the lid off, rolled up the sleeves, went in, yanked the chain, reattached it, and it worked. Yeah. I know, it's so silly, but it's just, oh, you know, listen, <laughs> we've all had to learn how to take care of ourselves in a different way because we're all stuck in our houses and no one's around to help. So we gotta figure this out. And I wanna ask my VFFs, has anyone else here had a domestic Everest that they climbed? Hashtag domestic Everest. Carly? Hi. Hi, Drew. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Oh, we're, we're so excited. So excited. <laughs> oh, well, you both look like you're going to prom. I mean, I'm not kidding. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, did you guys have a domestic Everest you climbed? Yes, yes. We recently moved from Southern California to Northern California, and I was missing the L.A. area, so I decided to remodel my master bedroom to be more like an L.A. vibe. I did it all by myself. I mean, that really is a domestic Everest. Mine was more like a domestic Denali, maybe a Fuji. <laughs> That is oh. Everest. I am so impressed. Good for you, and thank you for inspiring us to just get it done, you know? That's right. Thank you, ladies, and yeah. you could not look more beautiful. Okay, I am so excited for the show. We are talking to a woman who's turned a cancer diagnosis into a nationwide runner's community, and uh, I'm actually gonna try and attempt to join this community myself. Uh, so I'm excited to present this to all of you as an option. And I'm also gonna step into the kitchen and doing uh, a cooking demo for a dish that is very, very important to me and satiates something that is sort of a naughty dish, but I found a way to make it a nice dish. So first, um, let's kick it off with um, some Drew's news. We like to serve our stories here, sunny side up. It's Drew's news. <laughs> a question. It's Drew's News. I just really want to thank our VFS today because I felt so connected to everyone. I mean, really, this is like an awesome crowd today and every day here is with our VFFs. I just, I love hanging out with everyone. All right, let's kick it off with the news. We try to find the good little morsels that carry us throughout the day. It's time for history, herstory, herstory football. That's right, this Sunday, for the first time ever, three women were on the field at an official NFL game, okay? Yeah, that happened. At the Washington Cleveland game, there was one female coach for each team and one female referee officiating the game. Callie Br Brownson, Jennifer King, and Sarah Thomas. I love this story, this herstory. Thank you, ladies, making us all look good. Okay, next up in the news, it's a story that your stomach cares about because it's food news. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Delish.com reports that Nabisco, ding, has released their limited edition maple cream Oreo. And it's two golden cookies with maple syrup flavor stuffed with the traditional Oreo cream we all know and love. I mean, if it didn't have that, it wouldn't be an Oreo. So I want to try this. I met a really fun friend in the VFF wall, Jason, and I asked him to come back here, actually. We did a turkey dinner candy corn taste test last week, and I loved his review, so I'm bringing him back. Jason, how are ya? Hi, Drew. Hi. Hello, I'm great. I saw, Thank you for having me. Uh, I just was like, we all love you so much. We were like, would Jason uh, come back? So thank you, <laughs> you did. came back. Jason, I'm here. how do you rock an Oreo? Uh, you know, I just, I, old school fashion, just a little milk. Oh. You know, I, I let it sit, sit in there for a little bit. And I take milk. it out and eat it, but 
Yeah, a little milk. I don't have milk for today. I was just going to say, now I'm so disappointed. I should have gone. <laughs> Next time, we will have uh, cold milk standing by. Okay. Yes, yes. So, uh, shall we taste test these? You ready? Let's do it. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Me likey. That's fall. Yeah. <laughs> fall in a cookie. It's also like IHOP in your mouth. Like. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. It's like maple syrup Vermont mm. party right here. Yeah, like I can't go to Canada anymore because they won't let us in. So I'm just gonna eat these. Yeah. Instead. You got your maple leaf right here. Oh, oh my it's god, perfect. these are really good. I'm not kidding. These mm. are like, they have almost like that maple smoke. Like they have, yeah. they're just, it's beautiful. Wow. All right. Oh god. I'm we have to move on. Okay, that's really hard to put down. All right. Jason, do you have the samosas? I have them right here. Okay. And this has been very difficult all morning because they have smelled so good. They're kind of one of my favorite treats in the world. Um, fun yeah. fact, they are a savory Indian puff pastry filled with potatoes and vegetables. And it's one of my favorite things to eat. And this one has a pumpkin spiced samosa. Trader Joe's yeah. just released this pairing that made me go, oh my gourd. Here we go, ready? Let's do it. I'm going to hold, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't expect that. that is, Did not expect that. That is so good. That is delicious. It's, it's like, spicy too. And the pumpkin really works because you already are used to like a potato vibe. This is. Yeah. By the way, Trader Joe's food reviews on Instagram. Are you on that, Jason? Anyone? It's the I, best. It's really good. Get on it. I will get on it today. Oh my God. This is so mm. amazing. Thank you, Jason, my new, from VFF to FFF, favorite foodie <laughs> friend forever. That might be four Fs.